video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hi everybody and now welcome. I'm streaming from my childhood bedroom in Ecuador. I am still away for the holidays, but the cubing will not stop. Uh, our last card is a Cabal Ritual. Wow, this is like not a very good pack. Vista LED Spring. Um, I like Vista. I like Fiery Confluence too. Yeah, I was looking at Confluence, German. I haven't drafted Monoret at all, so it would be kind of nice to be the fun police for once. Hi, Synth! It's so good to see you. I missed you. Chat, tell me what you've been up to since I've been gone. I feel like I'm like... I also haven't been paying attention to like magic stuff at all, so there might be some magic news I am not up to date with. Not forcing storm. I just think fiery confluence is pretty good. We don't even have to be like mono red to be fiery confluence. I also think prismatic vista is pretty good. Oh my gosh, Sin, thank you. I've been having like the best vacation, but I also miss the stream, so I'm happy to be back. Let me dim the screen a little bit. It's a little too bright. Whoa, uh, somebody must have had a good pack. <laughs> Lucky Gooby. Sanchez, thank you. You finished Fallen Order last night and did a ton of backing over the Oh, I love it, Gorg. That's awesome. I have a lot of movies to watch. I heard that Cats was such a shit show, but I almost like want to watch it because I heard it was so bad. And then I also... I do not want to get the chat on this, but I also heard the last Star Wars movie is probably worth watching and maybe not complaining on social media about because everybody's already done that. Cats was delightful. Yeah, I, I heard it was, like, super, like, thirsty and <laughs> kind of weird. Hmm. That's so cute, Sanchez. I hope you enjoy. How old is your kid? I feel like kids become, like, a lot better, like, very quickly. Like, they go from unplayable to, like, extremely competent at, at like, better than adults, you know? You've been keeping up with the streams, haven't been? Oh, but you're still keeping at it. Ooh, I like Sunday, man. Wait, what's your native language, Quack? I didn't realize that English wasn't your native language. Also, look at our lands here. Our lands are pretty cool here. We could take Jace. We could take Tundra. Cats reviews are fueling me during all my stressful holiday stuff. I know, Slint. I've been watching a bunch of tweets and stuff. Oh, you're from Brazil? That's so cool. Yeah, this is a lot of good lands, right? I think we want the Tundra. I mean, Cradle's good, but, like, not as good. And... I don't think we want Taiga. Unless we want to do stipulation Christmas draft and then drop a heinous red green deck, which I don't think we should do. Oh, really? <laughs> Read! This is the village. I'm excited to watch The Witcher. I really want to do that. Hi, King! Welcome, welcome. Taiga does go well with Confluence. I kind of wanted Tundra just because I think it's a better land. Um... Currently, at the rate we're going at, I think we're going on, like, mono big control. Because <laughs> I want to take Worm Coil Engine, but that's probably not right. Stipulation Hanukkah Drafter Riot. I do love Worm Coil. I think we should take it, but currently we're drafting Big, big Red, which is not where we want to be at. But I feel kind of exhausted after the Minecraft streams because they attract them much. Oh my gosh. Quack, I have done that before. And I stopped streaming Minecraft because it was just, like, not good. <laughs> It was no bueno. You mean the proven trophy archetype? I believe Luis trophied with like big red, right? Hi, Razakun. It's good to see you. Hi, Narbly. Oh my gosh, no, Narbly. No, never. <laughs> never top. We, this is not a top stream. We could just take Signet. He was playing above the room. I heard about the BK. How was your birthday? What are you doing? Are you celebrating Christmas Eve? What are you doing? His big red deck was gas. I kind of want to take the Golgari Signet. I think we're drafting brown. <laughs> just about all your trophies have been blue, blue, black shitters, maybe splashing a color. Currently, this looks just like mono brown shitters. Though we could take uh, Sylvan Karyatid and try to be like... Some sort of ramp -hainosity. Merry Christmas, Razakun. Oh, we could take Chandra. Should we just draft big red? <laughs> we could try to draft big red. <laughs> Big red and try to trophy stipulation. Oh my gosh, Seth! Hanukkah draft, how does- I have no idea how you draft Hanukkah. You have to draft top. I think that's the only stipulation as far as I know. Alright, we're gonna try to draft big red. Big red control, let's go. 
Uh, nothing special for your birthday. Maybe we'll do a dinner when we get back for Christmas. Usual family festivities are gonna. Oh, you're gonna show them Taskmaster? That's so cool, BK. I love that show. Should I take Click? Click is better than like every other card in this pack by a good margin. Hmm. Could take Sulfuric Vortex and just go ham. Look at the Sulfuric Vortex Worm Coil Engine combo. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Uh, mine's- I don't- Vortex from my aggro sideboard plan? I honestly think I'm supposed to take Click. See, like, now I just take Zealous Conscripts and maybe we can try to be, like, some blue-red monstrosity. Mine's Desire, that's Hanukkah theme because you get multiple presents. <laughs> that's really good, Slumers. Shame that you can't trade your bad signal for the gruel. Yeah, that would be sweet. I think I do want to take the conscripts, though. I think that card is pretty good. We were just, like, pivoting back into, like, a blue-red deck, I think. Although, here we're going to take the Kavu and not have any more blue cards. Like, we could take Sword of Fire and Ice. Might be better than Avalanche Riders. Yes, so Taskmaster German, if you didn't know about it. Oh my gosh, Time Twister. Yeah, this is this is just not going... Emery might be sweet. Maybe. Emery might be sweet in this deck, actually. Actually, you're right. Yeah, let's, let's pick up some more artifacts for Emery. I think we can do this. Um, let me put this in the sideboard. So Taskmaster is a show where... Um, ooh. Emery and Relic is kind of cute. That's a very late Terrasty. I do agree with that, but I don't know if anybody wants it except the like, green deck. Do we want Fire Blast? No. Maybe it's Glory Beezy. Oh! Relic, Relic exiles itself? Never mind. We're not doing that. We'll take a Dire Fleet Daredevil. Alright. We have... We need some... We need a little bit of help. <laughs> Emery and Relic are a combo made from dreams. I know, because that's, that's true. That's true, Looter. Well, we do get we do have two pieces of power, so this this can't be that bad. Then maybe we wield a trinket mage. Porcelain Legionnaire is the last card. Ancestral will make this deck a lot better. <laughs> we got the worst two mocks, but they're mocks still. Like I'll take of color mocks any time, you know. Let me put that there and there. Hold on, these go like ooh, hello, pine twister. Time Twister's kind of sweet with a deck that has a bunch of mocks. We probably should not take it, though. It's probably Coercive Portal. <laughs> this deck is really bad. Phantasmal Image, maybe? Mm -hmm. Academy would be sweet if we wheel it. Turn one landmarks Time Twister. I know, I don't want to take more 4-drops is the problem. Our deck's super expensive. I might just take Time Twister. I don't know. Live a little. It's Christmas. Maybe we feel generous. Just give our opponent cards. Corey! Thank you for the 23! Yes. Look at that great description by BK. On Taskmaster, 5 comedians compete to compete. To complete obscure tasks in the best way they can. So th they'll ask them to do really random stuff like... Ah... Uh, roll a boulder up the hill and like that's all the instructions they have so they can like hire a company if they want they can just like roll it themselves they can hire somebody with a truck like i'm gonna take time twister you got to mystery draft that gp portland and man they're amazing it feels like chaos draft oh my gosh that's so cute i want to try that uh german i haven't had an opportunity to we opposition's a good card so is fractured identity damn so is miscalc for that yeah, make this ice block disappear and like sometimes they'll like one person will try to like sit on it and melt it another person will like throw it in the river and it like disappeared. So it's just, it's very clever. People have to get pretty creative with it. Um, I would very much recommend it, German. I think you'd like it. I, I love that show. I think it's fantastic. So we can take Opposition and try to get the blue cards. But Tenek, thank you for the seven. We can take Fractured Identity and splash it off of Tundra and Mox Pearl. Or we could take Miscog just as a cheap spell. You like opposition? I'm kind of liking Fractured. We, we're going to play the Tundra and we're going to play Mox Pearl. Even though our mana is horrible right now. It's just a really good card. 
All right, we're just guy strategies now. Hey, we have a pester mite. We still have the splinter tween dream alive. We could definitely take pester meat day. Then we can also splash white for like resto angel if we see that. Happy holidays, Melo. How are you? It's good to see you. I miss everybody so much. Hmm. You played against Finkel earlier today? Oh my gosh, rip. That's really cool though. That's like a treat to be able to play versus Finkel on Storm. <laughs> Someone called Nuclear with Just Guy Strategies now. We were Just Guy Strategies, baby. Ooh, Ponder's really good. Flooded Strand is also really good. Because Flooded Strand, I mean, it doesn't fix more than Tundra does. But it is just another blue-white source. I think it's just better to have Ponder though. Because this is here and this is here, right? Yeah. And then this is like a one. I'm not even sure we're playing Firebolt. You've been busy the past few months. It's great to catch a stream again. Thank you, Looter Scooter. I just, I also haven't been live as much this month, Looter, since I was, you know, I've been here for the holidays for like a week or so. A little less than a week. Today's like six days, I think. Baneslayer is fun. I don't think I want to take Baneslayer. I think I just want something cheap, like Ponder. Ooh, I love Factor Fiction. I think it's better than Sea Chrome Coast. Maybe then we just cut like a Flame Tongue Kavu or something. This deck is actually coming together now. It was like doing very badly. I, I don't think I want that Emery. And this Time Twister is looking sketchy now. That we look like more of a fair deck. Thirst ain't bad. Yeah, we can take Thirst. I hope you've been well, though, looter. Still plenty of time to get there on Twister. Yeah, for sure. I think if we pick up more mana rocks and stuff, like, it's just so easy to, to play Time Twister. I would also like to get some permission, like, um, Force of Will or something would be nice, or Force of Negation would be nice. Tinker, huh? Huh, are we a Tinker deck? This deck kind of looks like one. We have the Worm Coil, but if we pick up a, like, Sundering Titan, maybe... Yeah, this deck's getting there. Like, we have Mox Emerald, Mox Pearl, Golgari Signet. Yeah, I think I'm in, for sure. Yeah, and, and we're not giving up almost anything. Like, we could maybe take Karn, and that's just whatever. So, yeah, we take this. Love it. We can make Trinket Mage happen with this deck, for sure. It's, it looks way better than Emery. Let me get rid of that. This Daredevil looks mediocre, but it's fine. Also, this Thirst for Knowledge is actually kind of decent in this deck. We have a couple of artifacts to, dis to, to discard to it. That's right. Academy was in this pack, right? Someone's getting into my mono brown action. You've been pretty okay. A lot of things going on in your life. But always nice to play Magic or watch some streamers. Aw, thank you, Sluder. Uh, anyway, let's take the Trinky. Oh. Huh. I thought Academy was in the last pack. But I guess we were wrong. Yeah, me too, old Tanya. I thought it was in the same pack. But as it turns out, we were mistaken. I think we take it. I'm not sure we're going to play Tolarian Academy. But it's worth taking it for sure. Uh, these are all... <sighs> yeah, that's right. It was in the pack with a twister. Hmm. I was also... I also thought... Weird. Word for P3 Urza. <laughs> I guess I'll take Winter or But we're not playing it. I'll take scrubland in case we ever find a way to fetch it but i mean i get i'm not playing Doretti. i don't think maybe i might play Doretti. maybe i'll just take Doretti and see if we can splash it i'm not i'm not gonna try to oh my gosh i'll take the smoke stack out of the pack i guess uh just this is nonsense nonsense okay we ha we're live for a lot of stuff in this pack imagine wheeling academy it was nice Oh, I love Urza, but there's also an Urza, is it Signet? Which is really good with a lot of the stuff we're trying to do. I think it's just Signet. Get Siggy with it. There's also a Delta. P3 Urza is really nice. Man, what's the pick here, Chad? I feel like it's Signet. Urza Prison seems like live here. I mean, we could put Smokestack and Winter Orb in play. <laughs> I think it's Signet, right? Okay, Narvely thinks it's Signet. Time Sister thinks it's Signet. Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's take Signet. We, we really... I have seen Urza wheel. Because it's not that every deck wants it anyway, so... 
German. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that, German. Welcome back in Nike. Oh my god, I haven't seen you so long. Welcome back. Love from Sweden. Love from Ecuador. Yeah, Caracas, I think. I kind of think Caracas, too. I actually think Caracas is nice because we will play a white source for Fractured Identity and Caracas just randomly hoses a bunch of decks. Like, the other option is take Ashok, but we're not remotely close to splashing it. Which is not where I want to be at. Thank you again, Nikes, for the 10 months. I really appreciate that. I'm doing fantastic. I've been posting a bunch of pictures on the Instagrams and the Twitters. Um, but it was just really nice. I got to spend time with my... Basically, she was my roommate from college. We lived together from sophomore to junior year. And then senior year, we didn't live in the same room, but we lived next to each other. We've been very good friends the entire time. So it was cool to kind of like have her see, you know, what Ecuador is like and where I'm from and all that stuff. Uh, she loved it, German. She had such a good time. We like spent a lot of really good quality time together and we got to eat a bunch of food and we got to spend time with... Like, she got to see some of my other friends who she hadn't seen in a long time that are from Ecuador. So, it was just all fantastic. Thank you, Azure. I really appreciate the 17. Could I post some pictures? Yeah, I could do that, Looter. I can do that at some point. I have them all, like, all on my social media. It's very easy to post them. Tuffers is kind of interesting. I'm kind of looking at that. Because I don't think I want Orzov Signet. And I don't... This is not a strip mine deck. It's definitely not a show and tell deck. Imperial Decruiter is nice if we get the twin combo going but it's just like pretty mediocre if we don't i guess it does tutor directly daredevil too oh my gosh teffers for elt time twister wow you say no more time twister you just sold me <laughs> i didn't need that much to want to take to fairy and i just snapped it off so good Oh my gosh, red green. At, that's true. We could try to draft the stipulation, try to draft the Christmas theme deck. It's going to be red green and just garbage. <laughs> what do I think about the new spoiler? Honestly, Nikes, I have not even seen them. I've been super disconnected to the magic world because I've just, at most, what I've been seeing is like stuff on Twitter and like I've been checking the Viper Brood, um, like the, the Viper Pit room, and that's kind of it. So I'm haven't been looking at Theros Beyond Death spoilers, though my. Spoiler is coming out on the 30th. Uh, we're taking Stevens here. When is Hanukkah theme? Well, how do you do Hanukkah theme? Ooh, Snappy. Love it. Mm, snappy Ponder. Snappy Tinker. Doesn't really do that much. Snappy Foff. My favorite Star Wars movie is The Phantom Menace. Jar Jar Binks is my favorite character in it. Yeah, Canister is a super big troll. Can't. Blue White can't pass top. Can't pass an A drop. Blue, white, can't pass top, can't pass an A drop. God, but then that means I have to take top. <laughs> I don't want to do a stipulation if I have to take top. Dragon? No, I want something cheap. I want a brighter snappy. The problem is the, the ship is sailing on the snappy to be good. Hi, Fizzle! Sorry, Zizzle! <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas Eve to you too. Holy moly. Oh, hold on. We have like a lot of things here. Okay, as much as I love Sneak Attack, I think it's actually just Sundering Titan. Because we picked up the, the Tinker. Yeah, and I think we kind of have to slam it. I'm so sad to let this go and to let this go. There's so much good stuff here. I wouldn't mind seeing an Inky. We haven't seen it at all, right? So either somebody took it. Oh! Okay, Tinkering for Goals is kind of just like a... It, it's kind of a nice um, value. Oh my gosh! You can get Caracas, and then you can bounce the Golos to your hand, and then you can replay it and get another card. Boom. Not that that's, like, super good. You just get an extra land. <laughs> then get to Larian Academy. Can we actually activate this Golos? I don't think we can. Mox is the green source. We don't have any black source, right? Oh, we have a Golgari Signet. Maybe we can. Oh, so it looks like we can activate Golos. What do you know? That's pretty cool. Uh, Hallowed Fountain seems great just to be able to splash to Fairy and Fractured Identity. Can we for my spoiler? It's a good one, Nikes. I, I, I tell you guys, I, I can't ever tell you what it's about, but I usually tell you when my spoiler kind of sucks. This spoiler is very good. <laughs> it's a very cool card. 
Can't wait to tinker for Golgari Signa to activate Colos. <laughs> That's gonna be sweet. Alright, let's take Hallowed Fountain. Oh my gosh, Urza Wield! Yay! We did it. We did it, Reddit. I think we really want Urza too. Yeah, I think we really do. <sighs> this deck is sweet. We we almost ended up in mono big red control, but we ended up in like a just guy like good stuff deck. It doesn't even have twin combo in it. Yesterday we're playing turn one vault into turn two goals and turn three Urza. That's pretty cool. What are we taking here? Is metal worker gas? Metal worker might be better than sower. Um. <laughs> Big red too good to be true. <laughs> you can. We don't want show and tell. We don't want any of these things. We can take recruiter, but what does that even get for us? Nothing, right? Metal worker. I don't know. I'm gonna take the recruiter, but it just doesn't. It's not doing anything for us. All of these are kind of bad. Mishra's workshop. Do we have enough artifacts to make that work? Maybe. Oh, Recruiter does find Urza. Get back in there. Ah, uh, Ravages. Oh, maybe we Lightning Helix post board against some decks. Against, like, Mono Red might be good. Ooh, Recruiter of the Guard's not bad. But to the sideboard. Containment Priest. We actually picked up some good sideboard cards. Oh, yeah, we could... Do we want to play Winter Orb? Man, Winter Orb is a really weird card sometimes. It's good in this deck, I think. Because you can just tap your artifacts for mana. I don't think I've played against real Red Dead Wings either, German. It's great in this deck we have Academy Rocks and Urza. I guess the question is, are we playing... Urza abusing Orb is insane. Yeah, we could try it. Be like a stacks deck. Yeah, I don't think Metal Worker got there. I do think we want the Imperial Recruiter to tutor for... I don't think we want the... Um... That we do want the click. I don't think we want the pester mic because I don't think it got there. We just don't have enough stuff for it. I think the glory bringer seems kind of slow. Um, Firebolt also seems kind of slow. Hold on, let me scoot some things over. Yeah, FTK looks very medium. Totally agree. Uh, I totally agree, old Tanya. Hi, Wujo! It's good to see you. Let me move this over here. Uh, and these two are lands as well. So this is 25, 24. So we could technically cut one thing. Fader, oh my gosh! Fader, I missed your stream yesterday. I was so sad. I saw you were alive without kitties though. Cut conscripts. I do like conscripts. Conscripts is just like a good value card. Even if you don't have Kiki combo. It's just like sweet. I don't know. It's like a card. Is gifts on given pack one pick one in Christmas? <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe that's like the anti-Christmas card. You can't take away a gift that you gave. The kitties are far away. Meow. No, it's really not Time Twister. Is it right to cut Time Snappy? Gifts given is definitely... Because that's Slurms. That's a... That's like an uncard, right? Gifts given. <laughs> gifts on given is not. That's like the anti-Christmas anti card. Is generous gift and cube? No. They, it would be sweet if they had like illusions of grandeur and donate. Th those would be good for Christmas themed cube. We'll try to do a cube stipulation next. I think this will just be like a Jeskai strategies deck. Booster tutor would be good for stipulation, yeah. Um, What is the last cut? Love this, 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 this. Maybe glory bringer kind of sucks. Love this, this, and this, and this. I'm loving the thirst, it's the tinker, the time twister, the trinky mage, the click. Faldo, oh my gosh, Merry Christmas! Last game with Workshop deck was turn one Crucible World Sin 2 Lodestone Golem Tangle Wire and Smokestack. That deck sounds mean, Faldo. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... Which Chandra is it? It's a good one. Torch of Defiance. It is the good Chandra. What is my biggest wish for Christmas? Or did I already celebrate it? Um, so I'm celebrating it tonight. What would be my biggest wish for Christmas? I don't know. Maybe it's just cheesy, but like for like the people who I love to have a good year, I guess. There isn't anything that I like super want or need that is very specific. Just generally good stuffs. 
I think they cause most of the Chandra's other than Torch of Defiance. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think I've seen, I haven't seen the, like, M14 Chandra, and I don't think I've seen, like, Chandra 6, even though that wasn't the last cube, I think. Oh my gosh, Wujo, you already punted. Yeah, I haven't seen Awakened Inferno either. Oh my gosh, thank you, Chiyo. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Favorite clip from Luis's streams was when he accidentally tapped all his right mana so he couldn't activate Bowmite Courier but flipped the time warp. With his Urza leading BK to lose his mind. <laughs> Dari! Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas to you. Alright, I'm gonna cut the Snapcaster. I think we didn't get there. Like, our only cheap spells are Ponder and Fireball, and Fireball already flashes back. And then, like, all of these are just not really great. If we had picked up, like, a spell pierce, that would be good. It's not often they cut a snappy, but I think that's right. We had Mox Emerald, Mox Pearl, Tundra. Are we playing Tolarian? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think that's fine. Steam Vent, Caracas, Hallowed Fountain. All right, I need to... I have more limited space than I usually do in my own stream, so I need... A little notepad. Okay. Let's do some manas. Molly! Welcome! This deck does look spicy. Look at this good... Look at this good deck. We almost became big red control, but luckily we pivoted out of it. <laughs> Lord Tupper got you hooked on Jibby Garbo and it's kind of an issue. Oh my gosh, it's hard to escape that. Wait, what is this, Ujo? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> That's so good. Ark, welcome! Red control is great with wildfires, though. What if we never even came close to seeing wildfires? All right, let's do some manas for this. How many white sources do we have? We have Hallowed Fountain, Caracas, T Tundra, Mox, Pearl. That's four white sources, so we probably can do with that. You're doing Christmas things with Rage? Oh, that's so fun! Oh my gosh! It's a snake holiday. It's the true Christmas miracle. The gift of the Magi or something. For blue, we have Hallowed Fountain, Steam Vents, Tolarian, kind of. Tundra. Uh, Siggy. Okay, so that's five blue. Four white. And then for red, we have Steam Vents. Um, Siggy. So two. Oh, there's no with? Hold on, did I eat that? I misread that. I've been doing Christmas things, Reach. Oh my god. I think there was a... <sighs> wow, I got so excited. I thought it was a true Christmas miracle. You do get to see Squirrel the day after Christmas, though? That's cool. Increase Metal Worker, tap for 10 mana. Play for X and Metaphor for Metal Worker, swap boots to copy. Haste it, 6 more mana. Blight steal. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, Felda. Uh... Metal Worker's a busted card. Is this really a Winter Orb deck? I think we can. I think it's fine. We have Urza. So I kind of like with Urza locking them out. Because we have a lot of like artifact mana. Like That's the reason we're playing this Gulgari Signet. Because it's kind of of color and doesn't do that much outside of that. So we have four white sources. Five blue sources. Two red sources. Um, Let's see what the auto suggester suggests. Happy Yuletide. Hey Luna. That's true. That's true. We can tap. That's true. So Urza, we can tap our orb because orb has a really weird text, right? Yeah. So we can make all of our lands on tap, but then it's untapped on their turn and then they keep their lands tapped. So it's, it's good tech. So this will leave me at nine blue sources, five white sources, six red sources. So I don't think we want the white source. Yeah, so basically, like, we tap it on our turn whenever we want. Like, if we want, we can tap it at the end of their... Hold on, let me... I need to read it real quick. It's a... It's weird text. It's just, like, howling mine. So I think if we cut down on this plains and maybe go up on a mountain, that puts me at... Ten... Seven red sources. Nine blue sources. Four white sources. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, you tap it on their turn, right? 
As long as Winter Orb is untapped, players can't untap more than... Yeah, so you, like, go through their upkeep, let them not untap, then you tap the Winter Orb, it comes back to your turn. Do then I have to tap my Winter Orb on my upkeep, too? Classic continuous artifacts? No, you don't? Okay. Because it checks an untapped phase. Oh, and it's tapped. Okay, and then it untaps, and then you leave it untapped for their turn. Yeah. Howling Mine is, does the same thing. It's like, as long as Howling Mine is untapped, you draw to you both, you draw an extra card. But if you can, like, twiddle on your turn or whatever, you can just draw an extra one, and then they don't get to draw one if you get to tap it or whatever. Um, anyway, this, this looks cool. Okay, so let me save deck. Let me take a snipping tool. What else is new, chat? Tell me, tell me. Both in your life and is there anything cool in the magic world that I've been missing out on? Who's that? Spicy! Thank you so much for the 43. Thank you, thank you. Trinisphere also does this. Add Trinisphere to cube. I hate fun. <laughs> All right, so this is just guys struts. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, grilled cheese. I'm so happy for you. Let me, okay, let is, am I going somewhere? Some... No, we, we're celebrating Christmas Eve with some family friends, um, but I'm wearing like a dress for it. And I mean, you all remember how I usually sit on stream. Like I always sit like with, like, I always like sit cross-legged and I always wear like yoga pants and stuff. So I was wearing actual pants today and then I decided I didn't want to do that. Hi, Kaiju! Oh my gosh, Mateo! Merry Christmas to you, too! It's so cold here that you're just constantly bundled up in blankies and sleeping in the sweater! I love it! Fader, where are you right now? You're away, right? For Christmas? Are you back home for the holidays? Because I think normally it's for losers. I always sit in, like, such contrived ways. I would love to play first. You're at your parents' house? I love it. Ooh, hello. Wow, this is like not keepable. That's too bad. <laughs> it's so close to like being maybe okay. But can't possibly keep it. Oh my gosh, where am I? I put blue sources in here, right? Good heavens, Zio. Michigan, I also went to the frigid. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're in the tundra. <laughs> if, if only one of these artifacts were a tinker. Yeah, we'd snap it off. Let me mulligan. Okay. This one's keepable. We can keep... What are we... So we want to keep the Foth and the Signet, probably. We probably want to keep Hallowed Fountain and the Mountain. So we can probably send back Fiery Confluence and the Island, maybe? And then just hope to draw land? And then we can go, like, Teferi on three. Foth on four if we draw land. All right, so I believe it's Fiery Confluence, Frigid Midwest, you're in Central Illinois, and it's 40 to 45. You would keep Fiery. What would you send back, Molly? It's really good to catch up, but I'm not sure what I would send back. I think Island is the first thing I send back. It's possible I throw Teferi. Yeah, I can see that. Let me cancel real quick. Teferi and Island. And then keep this. I mean, we'll see, right? We are mulling to five, so it's going to be kind of sketchy. Man, the weather's been so beautiful here. Imagine starting turn one with Trinisphere, turn two smokestack, turn three crucible and vintage cube. You know, Felda, I haven't drafted a stack stack this cube season. I want to do that. I haven't... I saw Louise posting that he's drafting, like, Esper stacks, putting, like, curving Thalia into Falling Shinobi, which sounds really janky, but also, like... Oh, Hello. How does Winter Orb interact with this? It might be because those decks are terrible. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> might have a, a little something to do with it. I think I just want to pass too. Like, let them... They're going to have to play a land. Unless they, like, play a one drop and I'll be forced to do something. Yeah, pass, play the game. Sure. The land text game. Oh, I definitely want to play the Signet before Orb. I was just trying to figure out if I even wanted to play a land here. In the face of this uh, land tax. Like, we, we, exactly, we mulligan so we can basically sit around and, like, do nothing. Whereas, if they want to do something, they're going to start eventually discarding a hand size. 
Land tax is so stupid. AKA best carding cube. <laughs> See, they played something and now I can play my Siggy. And I get to keep developing and they don't. Love it. <laughs> we drew the mock emerald. Okay, so I think we're just gonna factor fiction at the end of. Oh no, we should factor fiction now, right? Cause we are missing a land drop, and I can still play it. People who play it, yes, yeah. I think I think it's worth it to play it now. So we can go like this and this, and that's fine. Just make sure we make blue. They also don't know that we're missing a land drop, so they might split this in, like, a weird way. Chat, how's this microphone? This is, like, a microphone that Luis uses to... Uh, that Luis uses to travel with, and uh, I asked to borrow it. This was also a consideration. Yeah, maybe. Because I could also just bend the winter orb. It doesn't even look like it's doing much here. It sounds good. Good. Didn't even notice a big issue. Sweet. It's not my regular microphone, but it's a it's like a micro blue yeti. Like it's like a little mic like this. Look. Uh one, two, three, four, five. I kinda wanna take Sundering Titan. Nah, I think we should just take the the V click pile. That's used for winter orbis. One Urza, two Thirst. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me take this guy. Play my island. And not play anything else. And then we just pass. Yeah, I was kind of tempted on the Titan. Because I can nug white and black for them. But then I'd also have to do, like, blue and red for me. I do have a lot of artifact mana, though. What is What are they playing? I don't understand. Uh, Trinket Mage to get another mock sounds pretty nice. One, two, three, four. And then I might click them upkeep. Can I do a... Yeah, I can. Can Trinket and click. Yep, yep. So let me Trinket first. And then I can cycle the, the Signet through, or like the mocks through the Signet, and then I have second blue for Hallowed Fountain. So let me do a draw step stop real quick. No, yeah, we can, because we just have to get the Siggy. Yeah, Siggy's are terrible, but it does work. It does work, luckily. Yeah, so we get the Pearl. We play the Pearl. And, uh, yeah, we'll up, we'll draw step, click them. So, almost sure, certainly they're going to, like, kill my Trinket Mage here. Oh, they didn't. Interesting. Click Reno. Are Talismans in Cube? Not in this one. They are in Legacy sometimes. And not all of the talismans, just some of them. And they're good. I think I saw somebody requesting... Somebody was tweeting the other day. They were like, petition to add signets or talismans to the cube. Because it's so much easier than the signets. Good lord. Alright, let's click him and see what the deal is. What kind of deck are we running today? It's like a Jess guy, like, artifacts deck, kind of. It's a cool deck. They're, oh my gosh, I hate Urborg so much, Yuga. It's so bad. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, Murderous Rider, Council's Judgment, Winds of Abandon. All these cards are just, like, not even that good against what we're doing. Like, they can't, they can cast Council's Judgment once they play that, but, like, what are they gonna take? Like, nothing important. Murderous Rider is just gonna kill our V-click. Yeah, whatever. You love the name of Italo version of Lantex? It's Tassa Suliter, which greatly resembles Finnish here for here, have a land. <laughs> let me know them. Okay, let me actually pull this out because I do want to see what's going on over there. Oh my gosh, Team Kassig, thank you. Happy holidays to you too. There goes the scrub land. Here goes, what is this, Murderous Rider maybe? Why didn't they just do it at the end of their turn? Ooh, love it. Love it, love it. If Man, I could play the Sundering Titan now. If only. Yeah, I think we're going to try to orb him and just do it with... Um, what's my...
Uh, yes, I commissioned the new, the new ones, grilled cheese. It's, uh, they're all brand new. I'm gonna let that one go. They're all brand new. I hope you like them. There's some really cool ones. Yes, the, the land tax was basically just like mulling to six for them, which is awesome. I like making people regret putting that card in their deck. It makes me happy. Can still use the rocks to throw sand up. Yeah, not even lock ourselves out of the winter orb, which is nice. Would be awesome to get. I don't need to draw stuff anymore. Get the Urza. Even though we have so much mana, it almost doesn't even matter. Hey, Mustel Albina, welcome. Uh, sure. So they're gonna name my winter orb? That's silly if that's what they choose. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. That was fantastic. Can you believe it? We traded a council's judgment for it for that. Okay, so let's thirst. One, two, three. Oh my god, hold on. <sighs> There you go. Well, I like all of those. Yeah, that's a that's a good suggestion, Time Twister. How does Winds of Abandon work real quick? Exile target creature you don't control. That's kind of awkward with my Worm Coil engine, huh? Prop discard Golos. Well, they're gonna. The problem is they're gonna wins. They're gonna wins whatever I play. Tbh, which kind of makes me feel like maybe I just been two cards. I been the fiery confluence and the firebolt. And uh, yeah, me too, Altanya. That's what I was thinking. Cause firebolt we can flash back. Fiery confluence doesn't have a use right now, and then I can play worm coil engine, and they're forced to wins, and then I can follow up with a Golos or the other way. So let me go two cards, these two, and then go back to our turn. <laughs> oh, I could t Tinder for Sundering Titan. I could tinker away the Mox Pearl for a... Oh, that's right. Sorry, we Sundering Titan is gone. I forgot about him. That's too bad. All right, I think we're going to lead with Worm Coil Engine. Have that get exiled. And then we'll play Golos and then we'll start activating Golos. Because we have white, blue, red, green. And I don't have any black source, right? Yeah, I would have to tinker for black source. Maybe it's not even that good. Maybe I'm supposed to just, given what they have in hand, maybe I'm supposed to just lead Golos. Lead with Golos. And not even bother activating. Just kill him with Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Hold on. So let me attack with Trinket Mage. Tinkering away the Mox Pearl into Golgari Signet will be very funny. But I think it doesn't even matter. I'm just going to play Golos. Get Karakas. Oh, it comes into play tapped, right? It does come into play tapped. It'll force them to win us immediately. Uh, hold on, I tap too much. There you go. That's funny, though. If we had Karakas, we could just bounce Golos in response to the winds. And get to keep it. Yeah, and now that Worm Coil is, like, clear to land next turn. Because they played Swamp, they played the Council's Judgment, they still have the Ulamog, they played Swift End, they still have the Murderous Rider, and then, like, one more thing. Do you have a Black Source? Yeah, we have a Golgari Signet that we can... We don't have a land, but we can get that if we tinker. Let me get Caracas. Do you have any other sweet artifact pairs other than Worm Coil and Golos? Yeah, only this one quack, the um, Sundering Titan, but that's basically it. We have Urza, and uh, that's kind of a payoff. It's like an enabler and payoff. Oh, wow. Fractured would be too good at instant speed, I think, even at five mana. Vampire Nighthawk, are they not going to wins me? That's weird. Didn't really 
really expect that. This thing has lifelink, right? So I could just Teferi... Teferi bounce the Vampire Nighthawk and start attacking with Golos. Do you have a Black Source in the deck for Golos? So kind of synth. I have a Golgari Signet. So we are somewhat close, but as long as I don't have that, I, it doesn't like really work. Fireball has how much damage too? We could Tinker Activate. We'd have to like tap the Pearl and the Tolarian Academy. Yeah, maybe that's worth it. Oh my gosh, thank you. I appreciate that, Team Keswick. Thanks for the support. Yeah, so I tinker away the Mox Pearl and I still have white. Yeah, let's do it. I'm in for that. Whatever. Let's tinker one. Yeah, and I can hold up Caracas in this spot. Uh, sack the Mox Pearl. Get the Siggy. This is a sweet play. I did not think we were going to... I thought there might be a chance we ended up doing that, but I did not think it was going to be like this. So now we can put Mox Emerald through and use the green source. There you go. And this, and that's Golos. Pay a two extra. Uh, I can cycle through the Siggy, I think. Love it. I know, we, we, we kind of like talked about it very like, lol, wouldn't that be funny? Uh, yeah, let's play a Nerza. How about that? Oh, I can also Karaka's back my Urza. If I want to. And I can also play... What, if anything, have you been playing in Standard? I have not been playing any Standard at all, Grilled. I just haven't really played any Magic while I've been gone, basically. I also could bounce the vampire so my Golos can attack this turn. Hi, Ryan! Welcome! How are you? Let me get my mountain. Vormerson! Thank you! Hold on, let me tap an untapped artifact and tap this. Two, three to play Tuffers. I'm gonna bounce the vampire Nighthawk. Yep, we're holding Caracas, no worries. I just do want to attack with um, this boy. Because they're so close to dying that I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, I remember we have... Um, the Urza can can make manas, so we were total totes fine. JR Agra is a solid deck right now, in your opinion. In standard? What are you playing? What does it look like right now? I honestly don't even know what standard looks like. Our hand is very good. Also, we have Direfleet Daredevil for their stuff. Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah, I mean, they get to do that. <laughs> Urza's a very stupid magic card. It's cool, though. Urza didn't become, like, too busted in any old format, but it's, like, very cool in cube. I think it's a very good addition. So this is gone. They still have Ulamog. Win they have Winds and Swamp. One, two. All right, who are we saving? Goals or Urza? Kind of want to... Kind of want to Urza. I just kills them next turn. Is my phone being poopy? Did you take all the expensive rupee rewards away? Oh, I didn't fail that. I just, I don't have the, my dog here. So you can't cash them in right now. So they'll be back when I'm back in Chicago. Yeah, kind of like Urza. Me too. It just kills them so fast. So don't worry, Felda. The, the rewards will be back. Don't you worry. Hoga makes you so sad. I know. Looter Scooter. I don't know how much more expensive Hoga needed to be to be not, like, completely broken. But it does feel like every time you deal with graveyard stuffs, like, delve spells, things are just likely to go wrong. Uh, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to get all my lands. Whatever. I'm not going to duck. Urza is cracked and half in modern. It's kind of Mox Opal's fault. This Oh, sure. Is is it really a problematic? I did not think it was causing too much problem elsewhere. So they're going to attack and kill my Tuffers, probably. Gooby Stream! Shadow Wolf, how are you? It's good to see you. I missed everybody here. All right, so we know their last card is Ulamog and something else. We don't really know what the last card is. We're just playing everything because it doesn't really matter anymore. Mm. Let's play Urza. 
How would you know if something was a problem in Modern? I assume I would hear from my friends who play a lot of Modern, but I guess I haven't been talking to them either. I'm also playing Wormy. The GR aggro deck I'm playing is a take... The top 8 of Portland? Love it! That's really cool! Uh, I may have tapped one extra. One more than I needed to. And then we can also start Urzaing, though I don't think we really want to do that yet. This used to be a 127 stream. I know. Feels bad, man. <laughs> used... Yeah, I guess I, I don't really care too much for that. Because I think we're just going to kill them before the Ulamog actually matters. So you don't have anything else but dog-related stuff? I have 27k, but not going to spend them on the dog, so it might be a problem. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything, Felda. I'm so sorry. I never had anything more expensive. All the expensive stuff was the dog stuff. I know you don't like doggies. Oh, you know what we can do too? We can thought seize them. Five, six, seven, eight. I can thought seize them before they can play Ulamog. No, Zoe didn't come with me either. It's hard to travel with the animals. Yeah, I might spin Urza. We could try to do a chinchilla reward. It'd have to be kind of expensive because I'd have to go get her out of her cage. But I bet we could do something like that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I need to dire fleet. Uh, oh, is Urza? Oh, it respects timing restrictions. Yeah, so maybe you don't want to spin on my turn at all. So they have planes, place, planes, Ulamog. And whatever they drew right now. Well, oh, we knew about the Nighthawk, actually. You modified Pika Urza for this deck? Let me see. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really good normally. I love it. Oh, we won! Hooray. Yeah, they were super dead. I could just Daredevil and take their Ulamog, and then they can't really come back from that. What's good against them? They were, like, just, like, a fair white-black deck. Necrotal? No, that doesn't kill the black cards. Flinktum Kavu actually looked kind of okay here. <laughs> Felda, let's see. Let's see if I do a little chin chinny reward just for you. It's gonna be kind of it's gonna be more expensive than a Julie treat though. Because I have to go get her from her cage and then bring her out to like say hi for a little bit and get some raisins. They have land tax, so we should board out all of our lands. I like it. I like it, Yuka. Just next level them. Did they have a lot of stuff we wanted at Ancient Grudge? I don't think so. I do think we won the FTK. The fireball actually looked kind of bad. Yeah, that would be nice, Narbly. It would be nice to have. It would be a more expensive reward for sure. But I think having a little treaty to have Zoe come out and hang out for a little bit is nice. How much to let Zoe run free? That's just impossible. It's so hard to catch her when she actually, like, lets loose. Oh no, Dokomoi. I did the um, automatic pricing for it, though. I have seen that you can change. There's, like, a new way that you can automate it like automate the pricing. I don't know how it determines it. I think it determines how much, how much currency is out there at any given time. This hand's pretty good. Let's keep this. You have such fun memories of bouncing Kava with Crystal Shard. I love Crystal Shard so much. The new streamer points update has been fantastic. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh no. So they're probably gonna take my Teferi. They might take my Trinket Mage. They know I have a lot of stuff that works with it. Ray, Merry Christmas Eve to you, hon. Thank you so much, you sweetheart. Welcome back. Yeah, that is a lot, Narbly. Also, I, I actually think that emote edits are, like, the one of the cooler rewards. So I'd rather just people be able to make more of them, you know? They took my Golgari Signet. Oh, no! That's the only way we can activate Golos. That's so sad. Okay, so we drew the best card possible. Let's go Mox Emerald into Mountain into Get Siggy with it. Our mana seems rough. No, our mana's fine. Team Kazakh, we have some artifacts just because um, we have all the, like, prison stuff. Just came in from Restream, but Merry Christmas to you and the fam. Thank you so much, Mayhem. I appreciate that. How is your uh, holiday going so far? Ooh, Imperial Recruiter? I think we just want to get the other mocks. Hmm... Oh, hold on. We can get Urza, can't we? That just sounds better.
That's sweet, Dokumoi. Oh my gosh, Mana Tithe would kill me. I, Cause I wanted to play it tapped anyways. Reed, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Reed, thank you. I don't even know if you're here. Welcome on in everybody. I hope you had a really good stream with Reed. My name's Gabby, I've never been here before. I'm streaming from my childhood bedroom in Ecuador. I'm all the way down in the middle of the world. Far, far from home. Was Reed street uh, cubing? Hi, Thanos. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that, Thanos. Thank you. Thank you. They killed my Mox Emerald. Oh, that, that was rude. Oh my gosh, Reed. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. Enjoy your Christmas Eve. Thank you for the raid. It's my first day back after a kind of a little baby hiatus visiting my family here at home. So this is exile target non land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. That's so rude. They killed my land. He is cubing, yes, beat two people with three power and two power in a row. I love it. Thank you so much, Reed. I appreciate that. I hope you have a really good holiday. Thank you, thank you. No, they really don't, Slubars. It's actually the direction that the water goes in. It's this effect called the Coleoris effect, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and do this. And then play some Urza's. And we'll just try to start attacking the Kaya down. Then if Kaya wants to kill my, my Construct, they can do that, but then they lose the Kaya. Yeah, time to... That's true. I mean, I, I was aware of that. I just feel like it's not that big a deal if we lose a Construct. Isn't that something with wind direction? No, technically it's like when the earth spins in a certain direction, something that would be a straight line instead of going straight. Like if you're shooting two um, like streams of water straight into each other, they would actually like be kind of sideways like this. But the water is not affected by that at all. It's just by the direction that it originally starts flushing in. Wins my Urza. That's rude. At least it wins everything, I guess. Let's get a blue source. The Don Corleone effect. <laughs> there you go. So they did kill my thingy. All right, that's fine. Uh, I could to fairy bounce my Imperial Recruiter and get something sweet. Let me attack first. What can we get again with with to fairy? Uh, boop 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 boop. We can't get Golos. We could get click. Wait, is Recruiter power? Power two or less, so no. Wait, are they trying to kill my recruiter? What's going on? Look at Narbly's moosers at it. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> Narbly, that's amazing! That's so good! It looks like moosers is like, I'll be back. Yeah, I guess we can get Daredevil and then we can Inquisition them. That seems fine. Derek, Merry Christmas Eve to you. Thank you so much. It's so good to see everybody. I miss the stream so much. Where's my opponent? Oh, that tree's pretty cute. Is that a new global emote? Or is like one of the emotes that you unlock? Or what's the deal with that one? It is a Mooseborg. Hello, opponent. Is my opponent here? Maybe they're not here at all. I don't even know. Where did they go? Resistance is a mutile. <laughs> Those are some sweet Christmas emotes, chat. Good job. Oh my gosh, that gingerbread cat is like the... Oh, that's so good. Just generic global emote. Love it. I am loving it. Where's my opponent, though? My opponent's not loving this match, I can tell you that. It's the only ginger you've got. <laughs> Chat, show me your best Christmas emote you've got, whether it be like a global emote or like an emote edit or um, a streamer who like made Christmas emotes. Uh, where are we getting the six mana for Tough Recruiter? Oh, uh, we draw a card off of Teferi, so we might not be able to play it immediately. Oh my gosh, Ryan, I love that one. <laughs> it's so cute. 
Looter, I like the boxy, comfy one. I love the comfy emotes. I'm always like... Phew. That's a good edit. That looks like a... Is that a naturally put hat on it? Yeah, it's like native, right? Um, where are we getting... No, sorry. Have you guys seen the new Spoiled Mythic? Seems broken to you. Also, why is Green getting all the cool stuff lately? Yeah, they, they have been buffing up Green a lot. I don't know what's going on. I think my opponent disconnected. Oh my gosh, Vader! <laughs> the, the cool kitty with the glasses is really good. You don't think it's broken, but it does seem good. The... Um... The new spoilers. I, I guess at some point we can look at spoilers, though. Not today, because I want to try to get two cubes in today before I go to my Eve celebration. Oh my gosh, Chainer Mage, that's so good. <laughs> oh, the red... I saw the red green god. I don't see what it did. It was something about escaping fate. Like, all I read is a flavor text, actually. Clothis, is that the name? You won a few bucks at the casino? Chicken, love it. What were you playing? All I ever really play at the casino is blackjack. Ooh, Slubars, thanks for sending me this, given that my opponent's not currently here. All right, let's look at this spoilerino. You're not supposed to escape your fate. Cloth is god of destiny. The god of destiny Clothus does not appreciate those who would manipulate fate, and her response is swift and final. If a certain someone were to attempt to escape the underworld, Clothus would do everything in her power to stop them. So, 3 mana, 4, 5 indestructible, so decent stats. As long as your devotion to red and green is less than 7, it isn't a creature. Sure, so regular god text. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, so your first main phase, exile target card from a graveyard if... It was a land card, add red, green. Otherwise, you gain two life and Clothus deals two damage to each opponent. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know if it's like the most busted card I've ever seen, but it's a pretty cool card. Clothers. <laughs> oh, there you go. We did it. They're back. Slots got lucky. That's a lot of money to win on slots. That's so cool. Okay. What are they doing? Oh, it's red or green, not red and green. Gotcha. Uh, yep, so let's go to fairy. Oh, did I punt? I think I punted. Like that. There you go, that's good. They're roping? It kind of feels like they were, uh, just AFK. We did it! Look at that! We drew the land exactly. Sweet. Eating cards from the opponent's graveyard is powerful. Yeah, jumpstart's still gonna be a thing, right? That's cool. No, that card seems strong. Oh no, they had a Thoughtseize? They're gonna take my Dire Fleet. That's just rude. Oh, Escape to the Wilds? I can see that too. Yes! Can you imagine if we drew the Daredevil of Tuffers? That feels so bad. Bim! With a gifted subs! Oh my gosh, thank you, Bim! Gifting two tier one subs to Weslar and Dank Memes. Thank you, thank you, Bim. You're so sweet. I appreciate the Christmas spirit. Okay, so I think we just kick it off with Chandra and see where we, see where we go from that. They don't have a lot going on. Maybe we kick it off with Dire Fleet Daredevil. Um, thought sees them. How much money do we have? Direfully Daredevil, Thought sees. Oh, then we don't have enough for Chandra. They have they might have Murderous Rider, so I think it's worth it. Oh, we could Chandra make mana. So the only reason I don't want to Time Twister is because I get such a feeling that they have Murderous Rider. And and I feel like we Oh, that's right, I have to ferry. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You are totes correct. Okay. Um, yeah, so Chandra, then make manas, then Dire Fleet Daredevil, and love it. Okay. So let's make mana, play Dire Fleet Daredevil, target Thoughtseize. It just feels so much that that's what they have. Target you. Council's Judgment and Elspeth Sense Champion. Okay, so it's just Ellie. Wait, why didn't they play Ellie last turn? I guess they didn't... 
Oh, they didn't have enough. Okay, yeah, let me just take Elspeth. They're left with a council's judgment, which doesn't really do anything. Attack with that. Love it. So now they're going to council's judge me my Chandra. Oh my gosh, loaf beef. I love that. The Neandir. That's adorable. That's so good. I love it. Council's judgment. Sure. Kill my Chandra. Sure. Thanks again, chat, for the warm welcome back to the streamer, you know. I missed everybody. What else have you been up to, those who haven't told me or have joined since I was asking? I feel like I've been gone for a couple days. I want to know what's up in people's lives. Winter, huh? Might as well do it. Let me keep ticking up. You've been doing almost nothing? I love that. New baby picture today is what I'm doing. Oh my god! You got promoted last week? Ark! Oh, German, no, that's so sad. That's just because they love you. That's so cool. Grats, Ark. Grats, Bim. Grats on the chilling slew bars. I actually really like that. Oh my gosh, you did win your fantasy football championship? Did you all see that Caroline, Sam, and BK, and uh, Matt Ness are like doing really well in their like fantasy league thing? No work this week? Love it. All right, let me just play a Trinky Mage so I don't draw all this the thing and feel bad about myself. I'm just gonna play Winter Orb. Like, their, their outs of playing anything meaningful is, like, very low, and I have two signets, so... You're decorating your first floor. I have a complete dining room, living room, and room to my house right now. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, land tax. They did it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just don't have to play a land now. They won't. It won't even do anything. Untap you. Not play that. Take up. Merry Christmas, Goofs. Midnight. Thank you. I could bounce my Dire Fleet and play, but I think I'm just going to attack. Thank you so much, Midnight Train. Merry Christmas. Merry Cubes Miss to you, too. Look, I'm not even going to... I'm just not even going to play anything. If I play anything, I can just sell us and steal it and kill them. Oh my gosh, could steal a lane and tap it. Lol. <laughs> You were given an ice cream pine koozie that keeps my hand warm when I eat ice cream and it changed my life. Ray, I love it. Him to Torak? All right, well, whatever. Doesn't even really do anything. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Reed. That's awesome. Is that like a Christmas present from you to you? Because that's a pretty cool Christmas present. On top of land, and we won the match. Love it. Such a fair deck. Their deck was way too fair, for sure. Wait, what is Dovin Lucky? What, what happened to Dovin Lucky? It was through the store's owner. Wait, what happened, Dovin? You were promoted to Pro DM. Yay, wage at my LGS, and I'll be running family D&D &D on weekends? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Congratulations, Dovin. <laughs> Punching face with gray ogres and, and pikers. I know. The fun thing is, like, this deck does some really unfair things. Like, it has Tinker, and it has, like really fast mana, but we're almost always just going to be killing them with like a 2-2. Two -two. Merry Christmas to you. I love it, Rage. I bought these like super cute, um, like Galapagos wooden figurines that are like this big, and I bought three to put up on my walls. That was like a nice little Christmas present from me to me. It also has three fairy. Agreed. That card is stupid. We haven't gone to, to fairy time twister end step yet. I wish I would have gotten Narset. That would have been perfect. You asked me to pivot it from two roast chickens to a six pound rib roast. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, so Luis didn't come with me to Ecuador this time because he, um, they have Naya. They switch um, who Naya spends Christmas with every year. So he didn't have Naya last year. So he was here with me and he has Naya this year. So they went back to California for the holidays. This hand seems way too fair except for the Tinker. The Tinker seems good. I think I'm going to keep it. The Tinker's good enough. I wish I could only play uh, green, blue sources so I didn't have to sack both lands of mine.
You're making rib roast tomorrow? You needed to call Ark, Rage. Always be calling Ark for food emergencies. Conan! Thank you for the 24 months! I appreciate that, Conan. Thank you, thank you. Gooby stream. Oh my gosh, should we rip a mox? It's gonna be swoosh. Well, now I can get name blue off of Hallowed Fountain in green source for them. So that's good. Oh my goodness. They are a different deck than I expected. They started out with Llanowar Elves. <gasps> we did it. I'm gonna boop all... I guess I'm gonna just boop my thing, right? Wow, we really did it. We should, right? Like, that's just the play. I think it is. Alright. Bye-bye, Mox Emerald. Yeah, so I can keep the island because I can boop white, blue, green over there. Maybe we want to get Worm Coil, though. That might just be better. Is that better than also destroying their two lands? They have two Signets, so it actually sends me back further. Chat, what's better here? Yes, Titan nukes both their lands and one of mine. But Worm Coil is also, like, very difficult to deal with at this point of the game. I kind of want to no Guts, no... No Guts, no Glory. I kind of want to get Sunny T. Titan gives us a chance, at least. Eesh. Eesh. I'm gonna get Titan. I, I came to game. One, two... Three... You know, like Worm Coil, but you're a coward. Yeah, I kind of just want to. I don't know. This is just hard, so hard to block. It's so big, too. Candy Dude! Thank you so much for the four months. In before Ancient Grudge. I'm going to lose my mind. <gasps> How dare they? They okoed my thing? Are you joking? For reals? Oh my gosh, we have an elk now. I'm still in Ecuador. Yes, thank you so much, Candidate, for the four months. And now we're losing. Nice 3-3 three, three nerd. Oh my goodness. So stupid. Oh, so stupid. I guess it wouldn't have been, like, that much better to get, like, Worm Coil. Though, the Land of Worlds makes it so that they always have three mana. I am, Rabbits! Welcome! I am streaming from Ecuador. It's my childhood bedroom. Look behind me. I even have all my little childhood toys. Look at my... Look at my little dog. Look at her back. Her back is, like, just... Totally messed up, because I bought a little hoodie for her, because she's so old. My old girl. Hi, Dad! Thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. I can't believe we're losing to Oko in this spot. It's so stupid. Yeah, that's true, Rabbits. But this is the one I had as a baby. Ugh, they're animating? The Siggy? I need a land. Okay, that's good. That's a start. Can't play anything. Can't really, like, attack. I guess... I guess I could attack with Sundering Titan, and if they trade Signet, then I'm, like, okay with that. I know, losing to Oko in 2019. I guess it's a good way to say goodbye to the year. Losing to Oko always. This has been a weird game. We're so far from Fractured Identity, it's not even it's not even funny. Okay, they're making a food. God, they're in such better spot than we are. Click is like No, no, no. This is this is all going sideways. What other year have you lost to Oko? Mostly just this year, and mostly a lot. Horrible. You're new to MTG, why play MTG online instead of MTG? And I hate Kai, Kazi. Um, basically, there's different formats on Magic Online than there is on Arena, which is why I'm playing here. Fire Shrieker, welcome back from Ecuador. So I'm actually still in Ecuador, Fire Shrieker. I'm just streaming from here. I brought my whole streaming setup. Thank you. I usually stream when I'm here, but my friend Christina from college came with me. So we were, during that time, I wasn't streaming. Wait, they reprinted Veil of Summer? No way, German. No way. They're going to insta-ban it again, right? Yeah, Fire Shaker. Okay, never mind. You got baited? I almost, I was like, that'd be so embarrassing. Can you imagine? Okay, I think we can scoop this game. Oko just absolutely murdered us. Yeah, I mean, I could play my click. I mean, 
Could I try to battle out of this? Is that even possible? I can play Mox Pearl and play a Vendillion Click and block the Monastery Mentor. And then if I get some more lands, I could click myself and put something away to be able to play Fractured Identity and then kill the Oko. Maybe? No, nah, we're dead, right? I'm... Yeah, let me just... We weren't winning this no matter what we tinkered. Agreed. Let me just move along with my life. I'm like trying to figure out if we can cobble some sort of miraculous win out of that. I think Flame Tongue does. Oh, actually, Ancient Grudge looks good against them. We can even activate both sides of it. And FTK looks good too. Yeah, love it. FTK and all day. You're pretty sure Veil of Summer Reprint is a Photoshop fake. That's really funny though. You you got me. I <laughs> It would be really funny if it was just like it's the band. They would have just not put it in the set file though, I think. Yes, Winter Orb does not seem good against them. And what else do we not want? Mm. Vendillion Click looks kind of medium. Does Dire Fleet have any targets? I feel like it didn't. I think Dire Fleet is kind of bad. I don't know who prefers viewing empty geo to arena. Uh, so it's not that anybody wants to like, at least this is it for me. It's not that I prefer looking at empty geo over arena. It's just that the formats that I want to play right now are on empty geo. So it's basically just that it's not more complicated than that. If, if I could play cube on arena, I'd just play on arena though. I will say I am so behind on quests on arena right now. I am never getting the like leveled up cat. It's so it's embarrassing. Uh, this one seems slow. It does have a, there are definitely people who prefer him to jittering. I'm not one of them, but some people hit all the flashy animation. Yeah. Some people do not like that as much for me. It's completely a function of like what format I want to play. I think this hint's too slow, chat. Should we toss it? Yeah, that's true. I still have some January to get it. Because it's until the new set comes out, right? Yeah, and Standard's kind of boring right now. I want to play Standard when the new set comes out. I'm not excited about Standard right now. Uh, does Watsi support both games? Yeah, yeah. They, they keep both of them around. Mull? I kind of also feel like it's a mull. Our, our deck can do better. Wow, we got the exact same hand. and I think this one I'm going to keep. <sighs> maybe not. Maybe I'm actually mulling. Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow too, Dovin. Around the same time, probably. Maybe like a little bit earlier. I have another thing like I have to do in the evening, so. Hey, Ring Chase, thank you. Yeah, I kind of want to mull this. This is like not a good hand. This hand's better. Let me keep this. I think we're tossing the Cellas, so we can keep... Actually, I can toss the Talarian, keep the Siggy, the Mountain, the Steam Vent, the Time Twister, and the Teferi. So let's toss Zealous and uh, toss, like, Talarian, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fine. Done. Toss all an Academy. Yeah, sorry. I Yeah, yeah the Academy is exactly what I wanted to send back. Yeah, we'll just be able to, to ferry into hopefully draw some good stuffs and not let them do anything super good. They, Time Sister's kind of sketchy against their deck because they are also playing like cheap mana rocks and like Atlanta worlds and stuff. See, like I might not want a Time Twister against this hand. Yeesh. They turn one Siggied. Turn one Siggy Mox. That was a really good start. Our opponent's deck seems, looks pretty good. Glory Beezy. Okay, let's have six. Rabbits, how's your uh, holiday going? Or maybe not holiday, but like... Holiday times. Eesh. Land tax, huh? Well, they're ahead on the land tax plan, so... Ponder is good. The old land tax oracle combo. Classic for the ages. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I kind of want to 
shuffle. Dude, everyone I'm playing against today has land tags. Wants land tags. I kind of want the golos and I do want the lands. It just feels like it's really slow. So maybe I just shuffle and try to hit a, like, Siggy or a rock. Something like that. One, two, three, four. I could golos next turn. Maybe that's worth it, actually. Maybe I go, like, top... Golos and Island and then not shuffle and then play that and then next turn I'll draw Um, Oh, this locks me. Yeah, the shit. I needed to draw the land first to play glory bringer because I wanted to care Oracle So I ordered those two wrong. That was bad. Oh Well You once got to play turn one soul ring plus mana vault Turn one soul ring plus mana ball. That's pretty good. Yeah, I I I I goof that up. I needed the land right before the. Maybe maybe time twistering is fine. I'm just worried. I I don't think I'm time twistering. Like I think if I time twister is gonna be much later in the game. Like if ever, I might not ever do it because it feels like they just it seems like something that would make money a lot of Watsi for. Are you talking about axing MTGO or what? I keep playing lands. I kind of love it. Yeah, I'm just going to sit tight. Why does Wizards do anything? That is a really good question. I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> oh, about having the ability to draft with friends. So this is my, like, cue my Deluminati um, music. This is what I have heard. From nowhere at Wadsey, this is just like all rumors. I heard that in the initial testing phases of Arena, they tested the bot drafts because it was like an easier way to test drafts than um, than uh, do eight person drafts. And then they never got rid of it. So like it wasn't ever supposed to be the way you drafted with your friends, but then it just never got fully implemented into becoming the real bot drafts. Now, of course, that's not necessarily true. I have no reason to believe it is. It's just all hearsay, but sounds like plausible enough to me okay so they played this okay so their land tax isn't doing anything right now yeah exactly dave meister i'm kind of worried about land taxing them into something good whoosh they have swords i know where's my soundboard when i need it they're down to one card and nothing useful it seems like hi molly we are up a game but we are Sorry, we're up a match, but we're down a game here. Um, I don't... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to play Glorybringer. They, their last card is Swords. I can play Glorybringer and try to kill Oracle, and then they're just going to Swords it. Then I can play Golos and get Karakas. And use that for my Golos. That seems reasonable, right? But yeah, Molly, we just keep playing against mono land tax control. It's really weird. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Swords is on top of their deck. Sorry, you're totally right. This is even better because I get to attack and exert and kill them wooly dooly. Yeah, this works out even better. I was like planning on throwing it away. I think their last card might just be a land. Okay, perfect. So now they can kill my glory bringer if they wish. And I can play Golos and get Caracas. What do penguins say? Land Texas reusable ancestral recall. <laughs> that is heresy. Ooh. I might just fall off instead of Golos. Like we know that one of their cards is sword, so like why run into it when we don't have to? Haven't made a land drop yet, so we can go one, two, three, four. I like Foff Ring. They have five lands. Ooh. That's some good stuff. There's Caracas. Now I can play goals and swords can't get us. So if they split Chandra and all of those, I might take the four pile. I'm still taking the three pile. Because I can play land mocks to fairy tick up. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm still taking this pile. Caracas, mocks. Not if you use scroll like with a two. True. <laughs> See, and now we can play Teferi and just like tick up. 
And then I'll have golos in, in swords to plowshares for whenever that comes up. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm just going to tick up. It's scroll rack. Scroll rack's not in this cube, right? I can't. That's fine. It's going to hit my Teferi for two. That's not really a big problem. I can also attack and exert Glorybringer again, unless they swords it. We'll see. We shall see. And I might get to Time Twister and step. I might not even do it, though. I feel like we're not... I feel like our game is better than theirs right now. You're going to stream some Viscera cleanup detail. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Krill. Thanks for hanging out here, too. I appreciate that. Instant Twister's good, right? Oh no, my Glory Bringer is dead. Feels bad, man. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't want to play a land. Oh, I guess if I make them... Hmm. Is Golos a May ability? Yeah, it's May. So I could just fail to find. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can't play Urza too. I could Urza and end the turn Twist. That's true. That's true, Molly. With Twister at the ready, it's not that big a deal. So maybe I'll just Urza. Hold on. This is what we're going to do, I think. How's the ability? Um, it's just five colorless. So this is four, right? And they can do one, two, three, four with this. So I'm not going to get to activate Urza. Urza plus instant time to release Karakas. Yeah, so I think I'm going to play Urza knowing that we can't actually activate Urza, but that's fine. And then we'll end step time twister and just like do something nutty next turn. I think that's pretty good. I think we also just tick this up. And I'm not going to play my land. You think I should play land? Maybe I should just because I'm going to want a lot of mana on my time twister turn. Maybe that's right. O-ring, huh? Let's see what their plan is. Oring my Tuffers. The question chat. The effect is already on the stack. Like, the effect is already going to work, right? Like, I can still cast it at, at end of turn, even if I lose my Teferi. Yeah, the effect is there. Okay, so I'm going to just let Tuffers go. It's fine. Bye-bye, Teferi. We had a good run. All right, so we're going to end step do the twist. They're on zero cards. Wait, what? Why are they attacking? Okay. And do the twist. Do, 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 do. Love it. What do we want to do? We have lots of things we could do. So many options. Sundering Titan seems good. I can get them for white, green, blue and i'm gonna have to nug myself the steam vents for red and blue right or sorry no i just do red for me yeah let's do sundering so let's go oh they're gonna get to land tax me but they already have seven cards so it doesn't matter one two three four five one two three four five wait is confluence better hold on let me think about it Oh, maybe Confluence is better. Just Nug, Sapphire, Signet, and Simic. Or Nug everything for one and kill two Siggies. Yeah, it does kind of look better. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five. So I can play this. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that maybe it is better. We do, we go like this. Uh Oh, we could torch a defiance. Hold on, that that sounds pretty good. Torch a defiance and make mana. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's go Chandra make some manas. And we're just going to kill. We're going to kill two elves 
two mana sources, like both signets probably. That looks really good. Red, red. I guess technically I could also play the Siggy. Let's just not even bother. It really does not matter. Okay, one to each creature, destroy two artifacts. Down and then one. One to each creature, destroy two artifacts. This hand is really good. So let's bust both signets. And then we're just going to attack. Okay, and then get in there with both of you. Wow, so they, I mean, they do have a fresh hand, but I kind of love her spot. We we got to do a super cool thing this game. I like this deck a lot. It's been sweet. Mox Jet, sure. I don't want to F6 because we do have Karakas. Can we tighten into Confluence? Uh, I did not see if we could tighten into Confluence. That's a good question. Mirari's wig? Damn. That's intense. We did not have 12 mana? Gotcha. We also have the Fracture Identity, too. BT dubs. So whatever cool thing they play here. We we could, yeah. What if instead we have the Mirari's wig? That sounds kind of sweet. Choco, thank you for the 15 months. Merry Christmas to you, Scregon. Let's see, let's see. Oh, if we kill O-Ring, we also get our Teferi back. Siggy. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, that sounds actually kind of sweet. Though, then they still get to keep the Mirari's Wake, which I don't think is that big a deal. Hey, Googles! Hey, Valoopy! Ooh, I do like Worm Coil Engine. So if I steal... Oh, this is so sick. Look at this. Oh, yeah, you're right. I steal the O-Ring, kill the Wake, get my Teferi, bounce their Golem. Yes, that sounds sick. So let me take up with Chandra first. We just nugged them. It was an island. So one, two, three. Uh, kind of tapped the wrong one to do that. This off of these two. This, this, this. That's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So identity, this one. This is so sweet. Okay, so now we steal the Mirari's Wake. And we get Teferi back. Give me my Teferi. Okay, and now we return to this back. That one's Dobbs. Ooh. Firebolt, that thing ain't bad. This goes face, right? It's any target. So... Yeah, I guess I just send the Construct. I don't even really care about the Blade Splicer. Yeah, this, this idiot is hexproof, but we could just play... I want to leave Karakas up. I can play Siggy just to have it up and then also attack with a construct because it also makes it a little bit bigger. Hope we all Chandra. That'd be sweet. All right, they're just blocking with it. It's cool with me. They only have two things left. I don't have anything I want to use right now. How many artifacts can we use? One, just one, two. So we can't activate Ursa. Okay. And technically we have like four points of damage. Who's this? Oh my gosh, Kenji! Thank you so much for that host. I really, really appreciate it. It's so good to see you. I hope you've been having a good time during... I know if you've been having like a super busy holiday break. But welcome on in, Raiders! Ooh. Hold on, my chat is just died a second ago. Check, check. Chat, check. Check. Check, check, chat, check. Thank you so... Hey, Lunar Scooter. Okay, I think I see you all again. Weesh. Karn's pretty spooky. Hi, Hippo fan. Welcome. I'm sorry if I missed you, Kenji. I, my chat just died a second ago. What are they targeting? My O-ring? Sure. They get that thingy back. Darsko, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. My own. Yeah, I mean, my O-ring. <laughs> All right, let's see what they're...
Oh, life also, thank you so, so much. I'm sorry I totally, totes missed you. Totes missed you. Hold on. My alerts are being kind of not great right now. I don't really know what's going on. Okay. Uh, there's the mentor. That's fine. We can just nug that thing. <laughs> the O-ring wars began. Oh, yeah. Whoosh. That's moderately spooky. What are they going to do with that jar? Yeesh. Yeah, spooky, spooky. Yeah, we, we, we've got a game now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can still play one. Can we kill them this turn? We probably can. If we Chandra for damage, um, and... We want to clear the card. I just want to see if we have enough to kill them. Because we can fire a bolt and bolt. That's four and another a little bit more with Chandra. And then you just need to kill them. So we might not actually be able to kill. Yeah, so if we FTK the mentor, fire bolt the monk. Send the construct that Karn and Urza at them. Yeah, that's just got to be better than almost anything else we've got. So I think we start by ticking up with Chandra. Tinker? FTK Mentor, Bolt, Monk Face, both. Oh, is that enough? 5 2. Oh, uh, yeah, and then Flashback Bolt. Oh, but do I have enough mana? I think I needed to make mana with Chandra for us to have enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Bolt, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no, we do. So let me just not cast it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me... One, two... Need to make some FDKs with this. Alright, that's only one red source, correct? Yes, yeah, so FDK... That's true, Ark. That is a good point. Do that. Bolt this guy out of the way. Pay two for this. Flashback bolt face, that's five, and then we hit for five. Yeah, that's exactly enough. Fire bolt, you. One, two, three, four, five. And then, swing. Boom. Actual lethal. Chat had lethal and it was for real lethal. It's a true Christmas miracle. I know, when chat figures out the win, feels good, man. All right, what else do we want? Lightning Helix sounds like it could be okay for them. They're playing Mentor. They're playing a bunch of, um, burbs. Like, they're playing, like, the O1 one Lanowar Elves. Chat found the right line. Clearly, ghosting is justified now, <laughs> Penguin. Yeah, we might have to watch the clock. I, I like how we boarded it. I don't think, I don't think I want to change anything. Oh yeah, we have seven minutes. All right, it's okay. We we can finish. I'm not worried. This hand seems good. We can tinker real fast. And if they oko me, I'll lose my I'll lose my mind. But it's okay. Oh man, they always have a good start too. I get to um, kill their mox out of fire though. Like, we get to go Mountain, Mox, Grudge this thing. And then I even have the flashback. Look at that. Look at that tech. Now, next turn, I can Tinker. Maybe I'll just get Warm Coil. Since they only have uh, green sources, too. If they'd play a duel, maybe I would get the... Yeah, let's get Warm Coil. Ding dong. All right, we'll see. We'll see how effective this turns out to be. If they oko me, I'm going to lose my mind. Now they play Savannah. I know, if they play oko, I'm in trouble. Please, no, oko, not like this. If they o-ring it, they o-ring it. 
I think the the odds of us winning this game is like pretty good on okay. That's fine. Are they gonna double block my wormy? Who knows? Let's attack first. Oh yeah, Felda. That is such famous last words. For reals. Are we just are we tutoring for Urza here? I think we are. We could also just click him and see what they have. <laughs> Let's click him and get rid of the Oko. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let me try to draw set a draw step stop and on their turn, click away the Oko. Okay. Click you. I bet they drew the Oko. I'm ready for it. And Yoko's Murray's Wake, Oracle Muli Dooley, and Selfless Spirit. Mmm. These are all kind of annoying. I guess Mirari's Wake is the scariest. I think we have to keep. I think Wake is kind of scary. Because with a Whisperwood, it's going to get out of control. There's things are going to be three threes and then they just trade. So I think I have to click this away. Spirit is also scary. They're both kind of... Their hand is pretty good. Draw them into Oko. Yeah, but I also think the wake is not acceptable. I think you have to take it. Yeah, great keeper, I agree. It's just so bad. They just trade. Yeah. Sure. Their deck does not seem like a land tax deck. That's fake news. Must just be. No deck is a land tax deck. That's very fair point. Hmm. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> well, there it is. What do you know? It's the land tax. Let's ponder first because we can still have recruiter afterward. Uh. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if we found fiery confluence? That'd be such gas. That's loud. I think we take Chandra Torch of Defiance. Oh, maybe I just shuffle. Yeah. Any order shuffle is really bad. Siggy's okay. Okay, let's recruit her for Urza, I think. Is that the doorbell? No, it's like, it's the actual phone, but it just has a really weird ringtone. Because it's like a landline. Okay, let's get Trinky. Or, sorry, Urza. Can we attack with Worm Coil Engine? We kind of can't. It's bad. Selfless Spirit makes it so that... Oh, we can because they either block the Selfless Spirit and sack it, which is okay. Or they could block with everyone, but then they don't take the Worm Coil Engine down. So we do have attacks with this and the click. We are in a really bad spot, though. Sure and sure. They're gonna sack it. They probably won't shouldn't sack it. Yeah, I agree, Felda. That's why I want to attack too, because I think the selfless spirit might die in this combat and give us a better chance. Landline of the void. <laughs> yeah, my parents still have a landline. It's different times here, you my dudes. They oh they let it die okay that's good so now I can still draw the miss the confluence and still have it be good. They must have been high AF as they designed worm coil yeah probably it's such a weird card. Oh my gosh good luck at the ultrasound bim. Yes I would love to see the new one when it's done. How far along are you? Yeah that's true fed stupid. Oh no, that's three, six. I probably have to toss this here. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we don't actually. We're just attacking with Worm Coil Engine. Yeah. <laughs> Manifesting Blade Splicer. Yeah. Yeah, so we know that one's there now. Mm. So we can play Siggy. I guess we just have to keep attacking with Worm Coil Engine. 
And then our only chance is to just start activating Urza and hope that's good enough. I do not like our chances here. But at least Construct can block some things and Wormcoil is gaining a 6 a turn. Oh, they just took it? Oh no! Time Warp is super scary! Okay, we can't let them Time Warp. We don't have to attack? That's... maybe that's true. Urza does have a big... now that they have Time Warp, I think we do want to attack. Oh, that's right. They are going to manifest the time warp. Unless they can draw it. Or they sack the Whisperwood so they draw the time warp. But maybe then it just doesn't do that much, right? Ooh, I might double block here. I think they want to do this so that they get the time warp. This is kind of a weird attack. Nah, I'm just going to let it through. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we want them to manifest the time warp. Just let them. Yeah, I think they're trying to bait us into double blocking. Okay, cool. Yeah, so manifesting that. And they're going to draw the forest. That's good for us. Factor fiction is good. Let's do that. That's better than activating Urza. Hello. I think we're going to take the pile with Glorybringer or... Sorry, with the pile with Fiery Confluence almost certainly, right? Uh, until the turn, non-token creatures you control game. When this creature dies, manifest the top card of your library. Oh, Fiery is also just lethal. Hit them for six. You're totally right. <laughs> Unless they have a lifelink creature, I suppose. Yeah, all right, well, we're taking the Fiery Confluence pile then. No matter what happens, I guess. Do we have Double Red? We can't cast it this turn, I don't think. Hold on, my... I'm... Nah. We don't have Double Red, unfortunately. We can play Mox Pearl and play Talarian and activate the Urza. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we tapped out of it. I think it was fine also to the way we tapped. Oh, shoot. We had a land. I guess I shouldn't have played my land. I guess I... It didn't matter because I couldn't activate my Urza without my Hallow... Without my Telerian Academy anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Slewers. We're fine, though. As long as they don't flip a lifelink creature here. What is this? Blade Splicer? Does that even do anything? It's just a 1-1. One, one. Let me put this over here. All right, can you see that fine chat? Yeah, that looks fine. Or is it can't have Worm Coil for mana, but it doesn't make, it only makes blue. <laughs> Surprise, it's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> no, Dokomoi, the 05 League. What did you draft? The 05 League is like a, it's a real special one. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so, Monty. It's just not very good, though. Two, four, six. Yeah, that was just, like, a pretty desperate attack, I think. Like, not knowing... Deal two to each opponent. One, two, three, four. And ding dong. We did it. Cool. We're 4 0. Love it. You're playing mono red. Were you playing mono red or like big red? Because <laughs> we almost drafted big red. This deck is really cool. I like this deck quite a bit. We ended up in like very. What is this? This is like Jeskai Brown. What, what, what would you call this deck? Eesh. Tinker, but nothing to sack. Time Twister with no quick mana and Vendelian Click that's uncastable. I think we have to toss this. Actual Mono Red, this was Pioneer, not Cube. Oh, I see, I see, Nokomoi. Okay, I mold and this hand is also not good, but I think we keep it. It's also slow, and I think I send back the Golos. Uh, 
Or maybe we send back the click. We can't even cast it. Or the dire fleet because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, ship click. I was kind of thinking the click too. Done. Jeskai mid-range artifacts. So weird. <laughs> Classic Jeskai mid-range artifacts. That's true. That's true, Nerbly. Look! Look! We're gonna get to Dire Fleet Preordain. That's like basically Arkers. Not quite Arkers, but it's good enough. I, I'm, I'm certainly not complaining. Unbox would have been nice. Yeah, look at that. Ba -ba -ba. Land tax. Oh shit. Just guy strategies too. Wee. Our toughest matchup thus far. Batter skull. Oh snap! They're gonna kill me. Oh no. Look, I don't think batter skull is very good in Q, but it is good if you have Stoneforge batter skull on turn two. Uh. Oh, that's true. Confluence does hit artifacts. Yeah, we're probably fine then. Let me just play Mountain. Not play my Daredevil. Yeah, we need a Confluence, like, pronto. We need to draw Siggy. Next turn, we can go Dire Fleet Flashback Preordain. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, because Tolarian is dead at the moment. Wait, what is this? They're activating this just so that I can't debate them or something? I guess that works. Oh, that's pretty good. Let me play my Caracas. Go Dire Fleet Daredevil. Yeah, I don't know why they upkeeped it. It was kind of weird. It feels like they might have a counterspell, maybe? It seems like they wanted to do it with, a, with like, a counterspell up, which I don't really get. Uh, I mean, Glorybringer's good enough. I think Firebolt is not at this point, so maybe bottom and top Glorybringer. Okay. And pass. Remember Battle Skull can bounce the Sulfur City? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're just gonna try to do the best we can. Glorybringer can kill the Batter Skull. Not permanently, but like at least a little bit. Oh, hello. Does look like they are... I guess we should FTK the Batter Skull. Given what's going on. Nah. Yeah, they just pass with Batter Skull mana, which makes Fiery Confluence not as good here. <laughs> this isn't spooky at all. I know, it does feel like they have a counter spell. I think we just, we just try to torture Defiance here. It's not gonna be great. We might just try to kill the Batter Skull. They let it resolve. Just plus? Maybe plusing is better. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's- yeah, maybe this just didn't work out at all. You're right. I actually hadn't counted up the mana. I thought they needed two turns to do that, but it only took them one, which is not exactly where I want to be at. Also, if we play Golos- oh shit. I was gonna say, if we play Golos, um... It, the germ just gains them life. It doesn't actually, like... Yeah, I think killing Stoneforge was better. Agreed. Okie dokie. What are we doing here? Can't Tolarian. So they tapped out a Stoneforge, which means that we could Teferi and bounce the germ. Yeah, it does like slow it down a little bit. Not loving this spot. Oh, I think we bounced the actual batter skull, not that. Yeah, that makes more sense for sure. Because then the germ just dies anyways. Oh no, this doesn't work out. Because then they, yeah, then they bounce their own thing and I don't draw. Yeah, no, that was not good. It, it should have been the germ. They could have bounced the. Couldn't they always 
bounce the germ? Yeah, for sure. They, they could have done it either way. Yeah, for sure. They could fizzle it either way. So they chose to kill my Tuffers instead of putting Batter Skull in play. Interesting. God, I didn't draw the land. God. So I could... Fiery Confluence to kill the Stoneforge Mystic and a Mox Ruby? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Weslar. Me too. This Talarian's looking so bad. Okay, so one to each creature and artifact. No. One to each creature and artifact. That. And then at least they won't have the mana to cast Batter Skull soon. And then once we have Worm Coil Engine, I almost don't even care what happens with a Batter Skull. So now, I guess I might as well play Talarian. So if I play an artifact, I'll have an extra land. Like, it'll become a real land. Let me get rid of this draw step stop. So they hit a swamp. Ooh, they're Esper. So now they can play Batter Skull. Please give me a land. Please, that's all I want. Rats. I could hit Mox. If I hit Mox off of this Ponder, then my Talarian is live. Yeah, so let me try hitting a Mox off of this. I'm almost certainly going to shuffle anything that's not a Mox. I think we shuffle, right, chat? Like, even through this, we have two chances of hitting a Mox, and then my thing is live. I really want to. Any order, shuffle. Rats. All right, well, we played a mountain. Can't play Golos. Looter, you thought the lands were fine? I just think it's so unbelievably good if we actually hit Mox in that spot. I think it's, like, amazing. Okay, so they're gonna hit us with the germ. I get to Glor Glorybringer next turn. Killed the germ. So we're definitely bringing Ancient Grudge. Oh, sh Oh my god. What did they hit? Okay, that, that could have been worse. They hit Recruiter and Land for me. That really could have been much, much worse. What did they tutor? G show game log. Fails to find a creature with power two or less. Lol. Yeah. That's a yikes for me. So we have to play Glorybringer this turn. Um, They have four cards in hand. Yeah, so we have to kill Shinobi, kill Teferi. I don't think I can shock to play around anything here. So let me just go ahead and play it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and yeet the Shinobi. That's my plan at the moment. Let's go ahead, attack and exert. Attack to fairy and exert. And then let's yeet both of them. You're drafting your first storm draft? Oh my gosh, German, you got this. I'm sending you good vibes. They are going to be able to equip the batter skull onto the Imperial Recruiter, which is not good for me. But then that to fairy is gone and I can play a warm coil engine and then I'm safe. They still have five cards in hand though. And we survived the Shinobi hit, which is, like, incredible. It's not often that you lift tail to tail. One, two, three, four, five. This has to be equipped. Yep. Huh. They didn't attack? Oh, no, sorry, they did. It just has VG. Okay. <laughs> I guess all, all everything rides on this Worm Coil engine, right? Like, that's just it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, they, they have six, so... Do I tinker away the wormy? What would I... Oh, I could tinker it away, actually. No, I can't. No, I have... But if I tinkered away the worm coil engine, I could have gotten Sundering Titan and then had two things left over. That would have been a sick play, actually, if we had one more mana. We've been mana screwed the whole game, and now we're, like, flooding somehow. 
Okay, they played land. No! That exiles! My worm coil! That's too bad. That would have been such a sick play if we got to. Oh, man, that's too bad. All right, let's rally for the last one. Hi, JustFab! Welcome, welcome! Ancient Grudge, get in there. And then what else do we want in there? Mm. That doesn't seem to do that much. Hi, Thomas! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing? It's good to have you. It's been nice to come back to Stream Arena. The ready? It's so hard to splash them though. We only have the um, Golgari signet. Louise! Hi! Louise, do you like my deck? My deck's pretty cool. We're 2 0 right now. Yeah, I don't think we can play the ready. FTK might be okay. Because FTK can kill a bunch of the creatures that we saw, and it's just like a creature we can um, also bounce with the fairy to, to replay and kill again. I remember when- <laughs> Louis, you f***ing baby. I'm like so happy to see you. What a baby. I'm happy to see you, Louise. Thanks for coming to my stream. Yes, you are being bad. Stop it. Just be good. I don't think- Do we want a winter orb against them? I guess they did not have a lot of artifact mana. Um, room for a gratuitous force. Nah, I think we're fine. We have a, uh, we have Mox Emerald and Golgari Signet, so we flashed back the um, Ancient Grudge before. Hey, Wesler, welcome. Yeah, it's Christmas, Luis. How about how about how about night? Be nice for like one day of the year. Could it be a Christmas miracle? I don't think I want Time Twister against this player actually. And do you like the deck? It's cool. Look at it. It's so beautiful. We almost we almost ended up in um, mono red big control, so we really dodged. <laughs> Golos is mega underrated. I can actually activate Golos. We did it in game two. I had to. This was so sweet, Luis. I had to tinker away a Mox Pearl into a Golgari Signet to activate the Golos. But then I had Karaka, so when they try to kill it, I nug it right back. Mm, still trying to figure out what we don't want. Cell's Conscripts does not look super good here, actually. Looks kind of expensive, and we didn't see anything we wanted to steal. All right. For the trophy! Weesh. This hand's not good. We can do better, I think. Ugh. I guess we keep this one. Can't even cast a Recruiter. Metal Worker for random mana dork? Nah, I decided not to play Metal Worker. I, d I think we do have enough to play the Talarian, but I just don't think we have enough for the Metal Worker. It's kind of medium. I can click him multiple times. Yeah, I'm going to keep this and send the Recruiter back. We're just so far from him. Wait, maybe I don't. Maybe I just send an Island back. I'll, I'll draw the red source. We have... Eight red sources? I'm gonna get greedy. Yeah, we have click Karakas. We can keep clicking ourselves. Library, huh? It's gonna be a slow game. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, Viper, we really downgraded. It's funny, I have less room here. So I was just like doing the mana in this little post-it. Sponzi put me on the big screen. All right, I'm going to try to not disappoint. I'm going to try to get the win. This is for the trophy. BT dubs. But we are down a game, unfortunately. All right, they're just librarying still. Wait, they didn't play anything? Surprising. All right. We can thirst and then see what's up. Maybe discard the Imperial Recruiter. Actually, we can just draw step click them. Um. Yeah, let's click him. And then we can Karakas to bounce it again. Build your own looter. Yeah, Felda. That is kind of famous last words, isn't it? Alright, what do we have? Oh my gosh. They have a lot of sp spell peers? Wait, what? This deck is very different than what it looked like in game one. Hazel! Merry Christmas to you too. Merry Christmas Eve. 
Look, it's a true miracle. Sword of War and Peace. That's a lot of double white. I kind of don't want to click him out of it. Because they're kind of mana screwed, right? Should we just let them keep everything? Take nothing? Yeah, I kind of feel like we also take nothing. Okay, so let's know them. Let's pop that out real quick. Path and play Caracas to protect click next turn. Oh, yeah, I guess technically I could... Oh, no, they can just Shriek Mo. Either way, they could kill my click. That's too bad. So, their Swamp is gone, and the Shriek Ma is gone. Yeah, we- yeah, you're- Yeah, Poopy, we, we just couldn't do it. Uh, let's Teferi, I guess. Teferi's a decent draw. And we can just- Yeah, I think we might just use it for card draw immediately. I guess I didn't have to play Caracas. Yeah, I should have just played Hallowed Fountain. That was that was bad sequencing. Alright, let me lock that out. If only Caracas could bounce three fairy, that'd be nice. So they're probably gonna counsel's judge Council's judgment. Caracas doesn't save to fairy from Fates Fetters. It's a yeah, yeah, it's just creature was like, no worries. Ain't no ain't no thing. Don't worry about it. But yeah, it doesn't Caracas basically has no use here. So I'm just gonna have to shock for Hallowed Fountain if I wanna play it. Though it doesn't even look like I'm gonna need to. Oh, hello. Get recruiter for what? Dire Fleet Daredevil? We're gonna need them to have a path to exile in the yard before that actually comes up. Caracas can bounce Gideon. That's actually true. Let me tick up. And I might do that if they try to attack. I wish Krakos would be allowed in EDH. Yeah, I think we just get Urza. So we go Steam Vents, pay two, go one, two, three. Recruiter for. Wait, what happened? Where's my red source? Did I really not tap for. Classic Goober. Krakos in EDH would be horrible. Yes, it doesn't seem like it would be good. Let me get Urza. We can't play it yet. Alright, so now if Gideon tries to get frisky here. In my mind, Krakos is the original printing that just says legend, not legendary creature. <laughs> it's fine, Wesler, don't worry. I really hope they send it in, because then they're going to have to spend time replaying it again. This library is going to be good for them, though. Sure. Come on, send Gideon, send Gideon! They're not sending Gideon? Oh man. Unlucky. We probably have to block here. I think I want to keep the Gideon alive. Or the Teferi. Because we're going to play Urza and then we can make some blocks. Sure, make a white knight. And what else? Sword of War and Peace. Eesh. It's pro red and white. Whenever a cup creature deals combat damage to a player, sort of war and peace deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand, you gain one life for each card in your hand. Okay, well, that's a problem. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, we don't have the... No, we don't have the red souls. Oh no. Because we could kill, kill both knights, kill sort of war and peace. That's so sad. Alright, we have to hold up Caracas. <laughs> Almost no matter what. That's so sad. It's so brutal. Yeah, we could even do it at instant speed. Ugh. Thirst for Mox and Red. Well, I don't think we can thirst right now. I think we're supposed to play Teferi. Take up. Play Urza. One, two, three, four, five. And then play the Hallowed Fountain. Wow, it's so sad. Sure. Council's Judgment, huh? 
sure. I guess. I mean, I guess I could have technically bounced Urza before they named, but I don't really get a choice anymore, so Urza's gone. If they pass, we bounce, and now that they attack Gideon, we also bounce. They don't have enough to equip the sword, which is good, but they are gonna probably kill my Teferi here. I guess he's gonna live. Council's Judgment is cheat. <laughs> Yuka, I think... Wasn't Council's Judgment printed literally because of... What's, this, what's it called? Proficitas? Proje uh, the three one? True name nemesis, thank you. Wasn't it because of literally that? Because the way it, that's templated is like it can't... You can't ever touch it. You can't ever target it. One, two... I think I'm gonna block one because then Teferi... Oh, hold on. Is it even worth it to do that because Teferi's gonna go to one? I think so, Fat Stupid. I think it was an answer to True Name. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, True Name Nemesis was meant to be like a multiplayer card, then people started playing it in Legacy. So they were like, okay, we need an answer. And then Council's Judgment is like a weird way to get around it. I think it's worth it to try to keep this Teferi alive. Because it's going to be really good if we have Teferi alive and we draw a red source here. Yeah, if that's... Oh, God, no. Why? Well, I can't confluence in response, Dave. I, I don't have the red source. That's, that's my problem. But... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can play Worm Coil Engine now with Caracas up. Oh. I guess Thirst would have still left us enough for... Oh, yeah, you're right. If we thirsted and found the red source, we could still Confluence. I guess now we just, we're just we kind of priced into playing Worm Coil Engine with Caracas up. Oh, that's right. They do have Path, don't they? You're right. Maybe we still thirst just to see what our options are. That was really bad. You're totally right. You can still attack TNN to stop and use Stomp Skullcrack to use something else to kill TNN. I know, it's just so convoluted, right? Yeah, True Name Nemesis is stupid. Okay, we, st we still should do this right now. Uh, we can discard Winter Orb. So let's go Artifact. Winter Orb. We don't have Mox Ruby, unfortunately. We also didn't find the red source, so at least we didn't brick on that. Daredevil next turn remove Gideon. Yeah, we can da Daredevil Council's Judgment kill Gideon. So we can just play FTK, FTK a Knight. And it's gonna get probably like Path or something. But they're gonna give us a red source if they Path it, which is actually good. Kill this idiot. Let's see if they even... Nah, they decided not even to do it. So they've played Gideon. They have not played Faith Fetters. They've played Council's Judgment. They don't have the path. They have played the sword. They still have Spell Pierce, which they can't cast. Oh my gosh, their deck is playing double blue? Look at their mana. Why aren't I using the Teferi? I did. It was down to one and I ticked it up. Oh, this is a turn they could have actually animated Gideon. I <laughs> think it's fine to trade here. Vindicate? Oh my god. Holy moly. Why block? I mean, I don't know that I'm going to get to Fiery Confluence next turn, Monty. So I think I want to... I think I want to make sure that their board is not super full. Like, as long as they're not equipping the Sword of War and Peace, we're doing kind of okay. It also kind of... That attack seemed a little sketchy. Let me just check something real quick. Nah, I'm not, I mean, there is merit to killing my only red sores. Okay, that was good. We have to kill the Gideon. So we could go Daredevil, Flash. It did feel a little spooky, but we're back in business. We're actually doing fine. 
but, but yeah, normally I agree. It's like, it's totally fine to hit my only red source. It, it's particularly good given my hand, but I don't think it's like super sketchy. Um, Cap, thank you so much for the 23 months. I'm actually going to take the, uh, I guess Council's Judgment's actually fine. Yeah, I could vindicate the give, but I'm a, I can also just Council's Judgment the give. Either one does the same thing. Bye-bye. Wait, two cards enter the exile zone? Wait, what did they... Oh, no, they both got exiled. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Maybe Calibri? No, the Gideon's gonna kill us. I actually... Now if I draw another red source, I can Confluence for two and kill Sword of War and Peace and do okay. Whereas I think we are just gonna die if we let the Gideon stick around for a little too long. Cri Cap, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. Yeesh, here it comes. First Strike's actually sick here. Yeah, it stops the Night Ally, not the other one though. It's bad for me, taking a bunch of damage. Golas, huh? So they still have Spell Pierce. They. <sighs> They still have the path and the fates fetters. Oh, that is a red source. Yes. Okay, so let's do step one. Get the golos down. And I can do it with uh, Karakas up. Love it. And then we get a red source. Okay. We're surviving. And this blocks the other thingy too. Mountain. Yeah, exactly, Narbly. And this one holds back this other dude. So we're actually doing okay. This could be worse. Bye bye. <laughs> Debated. All right. I don't know if they noticed or they just decided to do it anyway. Remember when Gideon was the equivalent of Oko back then? Yeah. Remember when Gideon used to be like really good? <laughs> Chat Gooby pro tip never go to LAX before Christmas. Oh my gosh. Kep, why would you go to LAX before Christmas? That's just like. That's just gotta be a madhouse, right? Oh, we're at five. They probably did it anyways. Yeah, that's reasonable. Also, they do have a Fates Fetters, so... Oh, hello. This is pro white and red, so it doesn't, like, super work very well. I think we just Confluence for two and kill Artifact, and then my Dire Fleet Daredevil can block the Night Ally, right? My sister came home for the holiday, should have left her at the airport! <laughs> Can I go us in Confluence? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, no. Oh, sorry. Confluence is every creature. Oh, that's... Yeah, and we're also one off. And they still have the Faith's Fetters. Confluence kills all the knights once the sword is dead. No, it won't, because it has pro red, so it's not going to take damage. They're going to get to keep a 2-2. Two, a two -two. We have to do it anyways. I think that's the only play. So, yeah, you go like this. Yeah, that, there's going to be a 2-2 two -two left at the end of this. So, 2 damage to every creature and destroy an art. Oh. We can clean up the 2-2 two -two with Glorybringer. That's true. Yeah, the equipped knight survives, but it's just going to be a 2-2. Two -two. So, I'm going to do 1 to each creature and destroy target artifact. It, it doesn't work the way we want it to. It's unfortunate. But... When, with a sword gone and just a knight ally, we don't have that big a risk of dying here. So we're just going to take, like, if they don't have something like, I don't know, lightning helix, which they're not red. On the plus side, they're getting close to decking because the library draws. I know they're at 16. Wait, what did Ark say? Let me see what did Ark say. And then die because they have seven cards in hand. So, yep. <laughs> Probably. This is one of the few games where library has actually looked really sick. I don't think it's very good, but they have drawn a lot more cards than we have. Wait, what is this? Shinobi? No! <laughs> oh no! I am not going to give him the satisfaction. No, 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 no. <laughs> Classic Moly BGS. Always oh, 2 1. I've 2 1 like every cube draft I've done this season. Oy. Those were some cool matches, though. Shinobi for reals. Are you for reals? Always number two. 
rank one in our hearts. Let me wrap up the YouTube video chat and then we're gonna have to cube super fast, super furious if I wanna try to finish another one before we go to the Christmas Eve celebration. I know, we're gonna draft again, don't worry. Um, Let me just wrap up the YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying more Cubes Miss all the way from Iquito, Ecuador, the middle of the world. Ayo. Um, if you wanna see more videos like these, they're on youtube.com slash Sparts. If you wanna come say hi to us in the live stream where this gets recorded, that's on twitch.tv slash Sparts. Thanks for watching YouTube, see you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.